retailers are cutting prices to encourage business in the downturn. One area where costs are rising is the travel industry. Two of the country's biggest package holiday providers are putting up prices by 10% because of the weakness of the pound. Joe Lynham reports. Temperatures easily sub-zero by 6 o'clock this evening. With the mercury plunging here at home, many of us will be planning to be somewhere a lot warmer this summer. Because the cost of getting a package holiday is going up. TUI, which owns Thompson Travel and First Choice, said its selling prices would rise by 10% on average for this summer. Rivals Thomas Cook, which also own My Travel, said prices would be 8% up this year. Higher package holidays come on top of rising costs once you arrive, due to the falling value of sterling. The recent and dramatic rise of the euro against the pound means that many British holidaymakers will have to plot an alternative course for their summer holidays. The problem is that many of the alternative destinations have also become more expensive once you get there. Thailand is increasingly popular, but the Thai bat is up 24%. The Egyptian pound is up by a quarter since last year. And the ever popular United States, well, the dollar is up 26% since January 2008. Apart from avoiding peak season and expensive hotels, there are always ways to keep the cost of holidaying overseas down. Self-catering is a tip, of course. Um, shopping is much more fun in overseas markets than it is at home when you're doing the round with whichever supermarket you support. And if you try to buy local stuff, and if you've got a fridge freezer and you can put lots of the soft drinks and the ice creams and lollies that kids like, you'll save yourself a fortune. But as Britain heads into recession and the cost mounts for foreign trips, many families may well decide to simply stay at home this summer. Joe Lynham, BBC News. Now, after much speculation by Doctor Who fans,